Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Okay, so for today's video, I'm so super excited. Oh my gosh. All right, so it is part of the DIY Coastal Summer Challenge hosted by Heidi Sambel. There will be a uh, link to her page in the description box below. Also, there will be a link to the playlist, which you guys check that out for sure. Check that out. There's gonna be some really talented people doing some awesome DIYs and y'all really need to go and check that playlist out. All right, so for my video, I'm so excited. I love coastal. I love anything nautical, obviously. I live on the lake. I am southern. I live right on the lake. Um, we eat, sleep, and breathe fishing around here, so the nautical theme itself definitely fits into my decor in different parts of my house, and it's just something that's near and dear to my heart. So, I was so excited to do these DIYs. I hope that I made some stuff that y'all can recreate um, using some really inexpensive items, and I just hope that y'all enjoy this. If you do, please be sure and give it a, a thumbs up. That really helps my channel grow. Also, if you are not subscribed, please do so. And if you are subscribed, I just wanna take a second and say thank you. Thank you so very much. This little channel has like literally taken off, and I don't know why, but the Lord has just blessed it, and thank you, because I could not do it without the subscribers. Like, obviously, that's what it takes to have a channel. So, thank y'all so much for being, just being a part of this. I just appreciate it so much. And the comments, please keep them coming. They are so encouraging, and they really let me know what y'all are looking for. So, that's definitely something that I need, you know. So, anyways, um, thank you again for everything that y'all are doing. I just appreciate y'all. Um, let me stop talking. How about that? Let's get into the video. I'm so excited. So for this first DIY, I have got this little picture that I got from uh, the Dollar General store. And then I also have this tray that is fabulous that I got for $2.99 at the Goodwill. So I'm going to be taking my paint in Ocean and also my Waverly in Ink. I had that other little black paint there because I wasn't sure if I had enough. But I'm just going to be mixing the two. I'm trying to come up with a kind of a navy, dark, blue, grayish color. You'll see. It, it actually turns out perfect, and I'm in love with this color now. I want to paint it on everything. So, I just paint this entire tray. Now, let me tell you something about this tray. So, my best friend was looking for a, some type of tray to put on her ottoman in pretty good size so that she could sit drinks or whatnot, you know, when they're sitting around their sectional. Well, I found this in the Goodwill while I was on vacation. Yes, I went to the Goodwill on vacation. Don't judge me. So, uh, I found this tray, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is perfect for Brie. Okay, so... I decided to put it as part of my coastal themed uh, video because it's, they travel a lot and just the compass, it kind of goes with her decor and the little saying on it is super sweet and she's just a really good friend of mine. So after I got it painted, I put my little picture on and then I took this uh, nautical rope that I got from Amazon. I'm just taking a little of the string that actually was came from the rope and tying off the ends so that it doesn't just continue to fray you know and come apart i just wrapped it around the handles and hot glued it to it and i'm telling you there was such a dramatic difference in when i first got this tray and what this tray looks like now i'm just shocked but it is so super cute i absolutely love it i'm so proud of it i cannot wait to give it to her she actually hasn't seen it yet so if she sees this video before i get a chance to give it to her then well i'm sorry brie there's you and no tray. <laughs> All right. So, um, I'm just hot gluing it there just to keep it in place. going to do the same exact thing to the other side. And like I said, I just took a little bit of string from the actual rope and tied off those ends just to keep it from, you know, continued to fray. I'm just going to hot glue it. This was so simple. And look at that. It turned out so stinking cute. So stinking cute. Oh, I love it. I cannot wait to give it to her. All right. So for this next one, I have got an anchor that I got from Walmart. I have a sticker that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I have this canvas that I got for $2.99 at the Goodwill. 
not on vacation. No, I wasn't on vacation when I got this one. <laughs> this was just a normal Goodwill trip. All right. I've got my Waverly Paints in Ocean, Crystal, and Pool. I've also got um, my white and my black. All right, so now the white paint is not actually Waverly. It is in the Waverly bottle, but it is not the Waverly. It is, um, well, I'm not going to tell you the name because it's not very good paint. I just stuck it in there so I didn't have to get it out of the tin can every time I used it. Anyways, I took that anchor and I had started to paint it solid with this blue color that I'm just totally crushing on right now. Um, but I ended up just kind of dry brushing over the top of it, and I, I really liked the way it looked. So I took my canvas, I flipped it upside down, and just took my pencil and went right on the inside edge of the, the canvas because I was going to cut it. Then I took my little, like, needle nose pliers. They're actually for jewelry, like jewelry needle nose pliers, and I feel like they work the best when you're trying to get these staples out. And I just pulled the staples all the way around uh, the canvas, which, yes, was a little tedious. It took a little bit of time, but whatever part of it so once i got all of those uh stinking staples out i end up um flipping my canvas over all right so I, you can see my line there and i'm just going right on the outside edge of that line just to make sure that i've got plenty of room for for to be able to pull and like stretch this canvas back over the frame once i'm once i'm done with it so I'm just giving myself a little bit of extra room. If I had to trim some off, okay, cool. I just want, you know, you, when doing something like this, you want to have extra instead of less. Definitely, you want to have extra. So I just trim it down. Now look at this frame. Is that not fantastic? Oh my gosh. Look at how thick and big this frame is. Why this was on that canvas, I have no idea, but that is a fabulous frame. So I just took my stain, my Waverly Antique uh, Wax stain, and stained the canvas and i stained it completely all the way around all right now i'm taking my white paint you can see how thin it is that that was not waverly but i just wanted to clarify that that it's in the bottle but it's not actually waverly so i took all my different blues and i just put them out what we're going to be doing is ombre now this is the very first time that i ever have tried to even ombre so don't really go off of my way unless you want to i mean i think it turned out really good but I, there's probably a fantastic technique to this that you could learn from somebody that knows what they're doing and that would help but this is just the way that i did it this is just my take on on the um ombre and so i took my white paint i put a generous amount on the i started at the top see there i'm having to fold the end of my my paper up because the wa the paint is so watery anyway so i put a generous amount i wanted to have a lot where i could smear it pretty much now i'm going in with my second color and I'm just blending it in to the bottom edge of that white. So you're gonna have white, then you're gonna have blended, then you're gonna have that crystal color. When you get to the bottom of that crystal color, you're gonna put a generous amount again. See how thick I've got it? Then I'm gonna go in with my next color and smear. Just blend it in. Just You're just kind of smearing it together so that it's blended, but it kind of flows. Does that make sense? I don't know if any of this is making sense. I'm trying guys. I'm really trying to tell you how to do this. So once again, once I got done with that color, I took a generous amount. Now the contrast between that next color and this color, the blue was so dark that I decided I would mix a little of the pool and the ocean together and come up with a little bit lighter blue just to kind of make the transition a little um, easier instead of just boom, you've got this dark blue. So I just smeared that in. Giving it a generous amount. This has a lot of paint on it, y'all, but that's the only way I could figure out how to do it. All right, so I um, once I got done with that second color there of the blue, the one that I mixed, I go in with the actual dark ocean and put it at the very bottom. Now, once I got my brush covered in that dark ocean, I'm going to end up getting another brush to go up the, the uh, canvas. Because see, now you've already got one dark. You can't just keep going up it. Yes, I painted on my hand. Sometimes I do that, okay? Like, you just do whatever you got to do. When you're crafting, you just do it. Part of it. So now I'm just kind of mixing them together. And going back and adding in where I feel like it needed a little more blending. And 
And like I said, this thing has got a ton of paint on it, but it was really just the best way that I could come up with how to uh, blend it all together. Totally painting on my hand. I, when I paint, I'm covered in it by the time I'm done. I'll have it on my legs, my knee, my elbow, <laughs> everywhere. It's just part of it. I'm definitely not a professional painter. That's for sure. I really enjoyed this project, actually. This was, like I said, this was a first for me. So, try out different things. When you're crafting, definitely try out something new. Don't be scared. If I had messed it up, really all I'd have to do was repaint it white and start over again. It's not a big deal. There's always a way to fix it, you know? So, just try. Try new stuff. All right, so my, my frame has been stained and it is dry. Now I'm just going to go in with my white and just dry brush. Well, it's not real dry, obviously. My, I had I went a little heavy handed. We'll say dry brush, but heavy handed dry brush uh, over the entire uh, frame. I wanted it to have that really distressed, um, just really coastal feel to it. Okay, so I'm going to take, once my canvas is dry, now look, y'all, I thought it turned out really good. And boom, I nick it with my fingernail. What? Oh my gosh, did that seriously just happen? Holy cow. No, my sticker's not going to cover it, so I just get my brush, and I just fix that little spot because I am OCD, and I had to fix it. <laughs> I mess up at least one to three things out of every project that I do, okay? It's just, I am, it's par for the core. It is just part of it. I'm so used to it that I just, I just roll with the punches, okay? All right, now once I've got everything dry, I'm going to take my canvas and just staple it back onto the frame. And I, I staple my one side here, as you see, pulling it, pulling it tight, and then I'm going to go on to the other side and pull it tight across from it. The side across from the one that I just did. And you're just going to want to, as best you can, pull a hold of it, you know, and get it really good and tight across there. All right. So this sticker had some extra like little flowers and a heart on it. And I just didn't want that to be part of the um, picture itself. So I just cut all that out, cut the sticker out the way I wanted it, got it placed where I wanted it. I've got my anchor up at the top up there. I'm going to end up hot gluing it on. To get my sticker to actually stick really well because it didn't want to stick to that canvas, I, I took some Mod Podge and I just Mod Podged right underneath it and then I'm going to actually Mod Podge over the top of it also. And I just do this whole sticker this way. Add a little more. You... I just ended up adding quite a bit of Mod Podge to this because I really wanted it to stick. And like I said, it didn't want to stick to that canvas. All right, so once I got that done, I go in with my hot glue and I'm going to stick the anchor to the um, frame. I'm just sticking it to the corner, like the edge of, the, of it there. And then the parts that are touching the frame, I added a little extra hot glue to that. So I forgot to put the rope on before I did it. So I end up taking my rope and I'm just going to hot glue it around it the way I want it. Just kind of place it around there the way that I want it to look. I'm just kind of play with it. Get it just like I wanted it. And there you go. That's how simple this was. Now, for some reason, iMovie has been cutting off part of my pictures and they're really close up. So I decided I would take a short little video of some of these so that y'all could actually see the entire project. I hope y'all enjoy this. <clears throat> I love this picture. All right, so on to the next one. I've got these bamboo spatulas from the Dollar General Store, a dollar a piece. I have got my um, white chalk paint I am just going to lightly brush over these. I want them to look very worn. So I'm just literally just slapping it on, as you can tell. See, I just want it to look kind of worn. These are going to be boat paddles, guys. 
Yes, you heard me correctly. <laughs> we were making boat paddles out of these. Just something to sit around and be part of your decor. I thought they were so stinking cute and just such a cute little idea. Just something extra to have. Y'all know me, it all has to come together as one set at the end. So don't worry, this goes, this, this will go with everything at the end. All right, so I just taped it off in different like random little spots on both uh, sticks and then, and painted them. I got my favorite little color there. Now I tried to use that color in a couple different of these DIYs just to pull it all together in the end. It's all gonna come together and those that color would be, you know, kind of the main focus on, on a few of them. So I'm gonna use a couple different colors on this. Now I did use that one that I said was my favorite, but um, I, oh yeah, look there. Mishap number two. I actually had paint on my hand and didn't realize it, little specks. So while I'm holding the handle of the other paint, I mean of the other uh, spatula, I get paint all over it. Of course, hey, tape it off, keep on trucking. I just painted right over it. All right. So once I get my tape off and I've got them painted like I'd like, I just take some of this uh, like nautical twine, thistle rope, whatever you want to call it, and I just wind it around the ends of the uh, spatulas. To make it look like a boat paddle oh and this little purple thing is so awesome it is a silicone baking sheet but it's super thin so like you can use it like a rag almost you know what i'm saying like it's just like i'm showing you it does not stick to the hot glue and it's not it it keeps it from burning your fingers this thing is a lifesaver got it at the dollar general store definitely pick one of them up if you see them and there they are so simple guys two bucks two dollars is what these cost and they are so stinking cute i just love them aren't they cute oh my gosh i love them too fun too they were so easy to make they probably didn't take 10 minutes all right so on to the next one i have got definitely got that little purple mat this time because i'm gonna need it i have got a mirror from the dollar tree i also have the uh um grass skirts from the dollar tree and then i have got a piece of wood uh round cutout i got that wood cutout from amazon actually it comes like 10 in a pack they're pretty cheap about 15 bucks i think for them okay so i'm just gonna take this skirt and right now i'm just kind of playing with it i kind of move it around figure out how I want it on the on the board, how I want to do the mirror. At first, I was going to actually use the entire mirror with the white part around it, that frame that's around it. I was actually going to make that part of this, but as you'll see in the end, I, I don't even use that. All right, so I cut it in half. I had one adult size and one kid size. How I did that, I don't know. I actually didn't look at them. I had no idea that there was a child size one. I just grabbed two and went with it. So anyways, um. I just add some hot glue, too much hot glue. I always use too much hot glue. That's just me. I just always do. I'm a little extra, okay? So I just added some hot glue. Now I'm gonna take my skirt and begin to just lay it down around it. See that little purple mat is, y'all, y'all have to get one of them, okay? You hear me? Get one of the purple mats if you see them somewhere because they are so stinking handy. All right, back to the mirror. <laughs> Let me forget about the mat. I'm so proud of that little mat, though, y'all. I'm telling you, it is so awesome. Okay, so I just went all the way around the mirror with the grass skirt. Once I got to the end, because I wanted this to all be even, um, I just snip it off. I just cut off the end of it. Now, I'm going to continue to add grass to this, but I wanted it all to be literally you know, have the same amount in each section of it. So that's why I snipped that off there. All right. So I'm taking the part that I had cut off previously and I'm just adding some hot glue right over the top of what's already down. And then I'm just laying that grass down on top of it. Just like so. And I'm going to trim around the inside where the mirror part is, the actual mirror is, and, and trim that up. That's real easy to do. Just take your scissors and snip right around that. No big deal. Child size. See, I was trying to show you that it, I had one that was a kid size. Totally didn't even know that they made the kid size. Anyways, so I'm just going to take it and I'm actually going to cut it in half also. Now, you could have stopped where I was with this... Uh, as far as the grass, it was thick enough, but 
like I said before, I'm a little extra. I wanted this sucker to be super full. I just wanted it to really have a lot of grass. So once I got all the grass on there like I wanted it, I just twist it around and snip it off, cutting it even, just kind of giving it a little haircut, I guess you'd say getting it good and circular. All right, now I'm gonna take some wax paper. I had it upside down the first time, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take some wax paper, lay it out, and then I'm gonna lay the uh, mirror right down on top of it, straighten out my grass. Now I'm fixing to take a spray adhesive that I got from the Dollar General store over in like the crafting section, and I'm just gonna spray the crap out of this thing, okay? I mean, spray, spray the heck out of it. I want it to stand up straight. I want all of this grass to stand out straight whenever I put it on the wall in the end. And I put the wax paper down so that it didn't stick to whatever, you know, I, it was laying on to dry. And I just, I just laid a um, canvas over the mirror whenever I sprayed that to make sure I didn't get any on the mirror. Okay, so these seashells I got when I was on vacation. My daughter and I walked and picked up tons of seashells. So I decided instead of putting that uh, frame back around it, I was gonna make a frame of my own out of the seashells. But they also sell, she sell seashells. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy, that's a mouthful. They also sell seashells <laughs> at the Dollar Tree. You can, you can get them there and do this same exact thing. So I just kind of played with them to figure out how I wanted the design to be, but Super simple, just glue them around it. And there you go. How cute is this? Ah, too stinking cute. Plus now the seashells that we have have a home and we've done something with them. We can remember this for that little trip forever. So I just think it's so stinking cute. I say that too much, don't I? No, I don't. I like saying that, so whatever. It is so stinking cute. I love it. All right, so now on to the next one. I have got a sign from the Dollar Tree. I've got my uh, paints. I've also got a D that I bought from uh, Walmart. Now I'm just gonna take this little sign. I didn't do anything with the back of it. I, I, I can finish that later, but in order to get this this project all done, every piece of this project all done, I just, I just kind of did some of them as fast as I could <laughs> anyway so I just painted that solid white now while that's drying I'm just going to take some more of my seashells and I'm going to cover this D completely in the seashells I did my big ones first and then went in with the little ones and kind of filled in the gaps the holes that you could see I didn't want you to be able to see that um the wood D at all all right, once the sign was dry, I just taped it off. I'm gonna put me two uh, navy stripes across it just to kind of make it look a little more like a, um, because it's a tag, I kind of wanted it to look like one of those tags that hangs like at a fish dock. See, okay, all right. So I just took my D, added way too much hot glue, but totally extra. Oh, this thing's heavy though. So the, the extra hot glue was a, it was needed. I feel like anyways, I had my glue, pop that dude right down on there. So simple y'all. This is so simple. And that D from Walmart probably was at like 188, I think maybe if that. So $3 for this project, added some rope and there you go. Really cute. Love this. Once again, it's special. We can remember that trip. All right, so for this next one, this was just another wall piece that I wanted to have because I wanted to have at least five. If I was gonna hang a couple signs, I wanted about five. So this was something that I thought would be really easy to do and easy to recreate if you'd like so i just taped off a uh, eight by ten canvas from the dollar tree i'm painting it with that my favorite little navy paint i told y'all it would be in quite a few of these diys but don't worry it all is, it ends up cohesive okay so 
after it dried, I just peeled my tape off. Now, I've got that starfish there. Both of these starfish that I'm fixing to use came from Ron John's while I was on vacation. Now, you could use the seashells from the Dollar Tree and do just the same thing. I just picked these up while I was on vacation, brought them home, and I thought, hey, instead of them sitting around on a shelf and maybe getting broke, I'm fixing to hang these dudes up. We'll just make a picture out of them. I just hot glued him right to it. I said him, her, him, her, I don't know, sea, or sea starfish, I don't know. Anyways, never mind, let's not even go there. <laughs> All right, so I just glued them to the, the board. Oh, this thing. So I got this little dude at the Dollar Tree, and it, you're, it's for taking off glue. So where that extra hot glue was I showed you, watch how easy this thing gets the hot glue off. I mean, it really did clean it up. This is a win for Dollar Tree because that thing actually works. And there's our picture. So simple. So, so simple. If you did this with the Dollar Tree seashells, it would cost you $2. And what a good statement piece. I mean, I love it. Fantastic. Okay. All right. So for this next one, I've got these two. Uh, uh, this sign came from the Dollar General store and it got wet outside on my back porch. So I decided I'd repurpose it. So I used these two uh, wooden pieces that I got from Dollar General store. I just took the hangers off of them, glue them together. No, I didn't glue it to the table this time. <laughs> so I just took some uh, the extra large popsicle sticks that came from Walmart glued those directly to the back of this. I'm going to flip it over. Now I'm going to make my home sign. So I just took these little metal uh, letters off with this Cricut spatula that I had. But be careful because, boom, bent it. I told you, one, one out of three <laughs> of my projects, I'm totally going to mess up on. But it was okay. I just bent the sucker back and kept on trucking. Like I said, roll with the punches. Just go with it, okay? It's just crafting. It's not the end of the world. All right, so I, once I got these off, got all the stuff off the back of them, I just hot glued them straight to that board. They were already distressed looking. The galvanized metal with the rust, they, were already, they already looked like that, so I didn't have to do anything to them. Added some glue to my uh, sand dollar there. Now, that sand dollar I did pick up while I was in Florida. And now you have a home sign. All right, so I took my nautical rope, tied a knot in it. A lot of nautical stuff has different knots. Now, the only one I know how to tie is the simple little knot, okay? But, so that's what we went with. But knots are a big, big part of the nautical coastal theme. So... That's why I added those. Now, I did take a little bit of, because they were kind of bulky on there, and I was afraid that they wouldn't stay glued. So, I did take some old canvas, extra canvas I had, and wrap around them. And there we have it. How cute. Uh, love this. So simple, yet really does something to the whole set. I mean, it just really makes this this project. I love it. All right, so for this next one, I've got two vases from the Dollar Tree. I also have these two, um, they're Tiki torch holders. Now, I used the, the Tiki out of them, the little can thing. I used it out of them in another project, so I just had these left over, and I knew that for some reason I would use these, so that's why I kept the, the two holders. Well, when a coastal theme come up, I thought, oh, perfect. That's like bamboo. I mean, that's perfect, so I just popped these off of here, popped it, broke the ends off, the ones I couldn't get to break because I wanted them to look kind of broken and, and tattered, you know, but the ones I couldn't get to break, I did use my scissors on. Pop the ones off the ends, and save that bottom piece because we're going to use that also. The round bottom. All right, so I've just set those to the side. Now, I'm just going to take these and glue them directly to this vase. I'm just literally going all the way around this vase, hot gluing these to it. Now, by the time I got to this side, I done burnt my fingers about 27, 
too many times. <laughs> so I was just putting the glue on the base and then sticking the, uh, the bamboo stick on there. All right. So I just went all the way around it. And then I took the extras that I had left over and kind of filled in some spots that were a little e uneven. Now I'm going to glue it directly to that base. And you're pretty much done with this. Tie some rope around it. I used the nautical rope. Just made a little knot. And boom, done with that one. All right, we're making two, remember. So a dollar. I spent a dollar on this uh, sea glass, I think you call it. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, at the Dollar General store. And I'm just going to fill this base up with it. And there you go. That one's done. Now, the base, we're going to do a little different. All right, so I wanted to show you all this grass that I filled these with. This came off the Easter section um, at the Dollar Tree. I just pulled the little uh, eggs out. I'm not sure why eggs were growing out of grass, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I just pulled the eggs out. And look here, you've got grass. And pretty cute decorative uh, grass, should I say. It's really high end, like nice looking grass, matter of fact. And there you go. Same thing with this other one. Just pulled those eggs off. Pop it in there. And you have got two really cute uh, florals. Okay, so I took that bottom, this, the other bottom that was left. I'm going to take some of my dark colored Jenga blocks. Yes, I have a bunch of Jenga blocks. I'm sorry. I have a whole little tote full of them. All right. So, they're handy though, y'all. Now, come on. Y'all know they are. So, I pick up like two packs every time I go to the Dollar Tree. And just keep adding to my collection. All right. I take that round, that wood round, lay it face down. And then, I'm going to take my uh, Jenga blocks and glue them on four points. As you see here. Okay, yeah. We're going to do four. And I used way too much hot glue. I always do, but whatever. Now, for this, these, I'm going to glue two together. I'm going to do four sets of it. And I'm gluing two together. And this is going to be the legs of our stand. So, you're just going to glue them standing up directly to that piece that you that you, we glued the four points uh, uh, on i just totally stuttered trying to say that <laughs> whatever okay once you get all that done then i'm going to flip it over see now we've got a stand all right now i wanted to keep going with this i had something in mind and i just kept going so i take four more uh blocks and glue them to the outside edge of that uh wood round standing upwards on top of each leg as you see here, now the nautical part. Here we go. I'm going to take this rope, and I did twist it and turn it and crush it and roll it and whatever to get it to where I could actually work with it, get it a little more flexible to where I could work with it, because this stuff comes super stiff. All right, I am going to make this look like a fish dock, literally. So, we just you just take the rope start at one side and start gluing it around now i do squeeze it together on each and there's blue look he's all up in the craft hey, thing today Bubba. <laughs> all right so i just glue that uh rope around and like i said i'm squeezing it together as i go around it in order to give it that that's what i was trying to show you there that i've got it squeak i've got it kind of pinched together and i just glued all the way around like that don't it look like a little fish dock i love these too stinking cute so simple too y'all this took like five minutes i swear Too cute. All right. So, for this next one, we're almost to the end, I promise. I know this was a long video, y'all, but I had so many little things that I wanted to, to all bring together here. All right. So, we're going to be making a uh, nautical-themed 
our coastal looking lantern because obviously lanterns are so big right now. Bubba's back. Look, he's all up in it today. I'm telling you. All right. So I just glued four of the eight by, no, yes, four of the eight by 10, no, five by seven. Crap. I don't know. I think they were five by sevens. They were, they were. Sorry. I'm arguing with myself. <laughs> do y'all do that? Argue with yourself? Okay. I glued four of the five by seven canvases from the Dollar Tree together on all four sides. And I've made uh, lanterns before in some of my videos. So you might can check that out if you needed a, you know, a longer, more uh, detailed tutorial. All right. So once I got those glued together, I took a four by six frame and frame and glued it to the top of these. I'm just holding it down, making sure everything's good and glued. I'm showing you that I got a little too much hot glue. But we're going to cover that up with some paint, so it's okay. All right, now these here were like two by threes, I think, or something. I'm not even really sure what they were. But they're like the smallest of the frames that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And all this had canvas on it, but I, I had already peeled the canvas off. I didn't think y'all needed to have to see me do all that. So I glued these two together. And I had planned to just stick them straight on top of that one, but up on the top one, that four by six one, but it, they wouldn't stay. So I'm taking my um, skewers, bamboo skewers, and you can get these at the Dollar Tree also, or you can get them at the Dollar General store. I've seen them there too. And I'm just going to take four of them and lay them right across the top. I'm just hot gluing them in. Kind of looks like scaffolding, maybe. And then I'm just going to pop this other one right on top. Now, I took some, uh, I, need, I wanted a, a hanger for it, or a handle. So, I took some of these wood beads that I got from Amazon, um... I have no idea how to even say the name of that, so I'm not going to. Y'all can just read it. So, uh, I took some Chanel stems, twisted them together, because I wanted it to be pretty stiff. That's why I used two. And then I'm just going to bead it on here, or thread them through here. You can get beads at the Dollar Tree also. I just wanted the wood look, because I'm going to stain all of this in the end. So, I, I wanted the, the raw wood. Now, once I got them in there, I just snipped my Chanel stem off and uh, added just a little bead of hot glue to the end so that it would stay, the Chanel stem would stay inside that uh, bead, as you see there. And then I'm just going to add a little hot glue to each end and pop that dude right on top. Super simple, y'all. Super simple. Now we got our handle. Okay, so I took some black uh, chalk paint that I got from the Dollar General store and some water and just mixed it together and made some stain. One of my last DIYs videos, I did some, I stained a lot of stuff in, in this black and it is beautiful. It turned out, they turned out absolutely gorgeous. So I decided I wanted to do it with, add it to this uh, set somehow. So I stained this entire thing, top to bottom, in and out, crevice, crook, cranny, the whole shebang. It is all stained. <laughs> now I'm going to take my white and go back and distress it. The only thing that I didn't hit was my beads or the handle. I wanted the handle to just stay that solid stained color. Other than that, I distressed this entire thing. Now I did take some of the black paint, not watered down, just straight black paint, and paint over where some of the hot glue had shown through, and it covered it right up. You couldn't see the hot glue after that at all. So, I'm just slapping this on, just literally kind of dry brushing it on, getting a little heavy-handed, but I want it to look worn, old. Now, I did get a little on my beads on accident, so I just took a, a wet uh, washcloth, and it came right off. Of course, y'all know I got to have a mess up here and there. Always. <laughs> Always, y'all. All 
Okay, so to add to this and just really take it over the top with the coastal, I took one of these fishnet uh, things that I got from the Dollar Tree. And at first, I was just going to kind of drape it around this uh, lantern, but that looked kind of Halloween-ish. So, I decided to just kind of loop it on the inside, on, on two sides of the lantern. Like so. I just measure it off, cut it like I want it, and then just hot glue it up in the corners. And this thing turned out so stinking cute. Y'all knew I was fixing to say that, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I love it. That that net really made this, it just really made this whole piece to me. I love this. This will be staying in my decor for sure. All right, so the last one, here we go. Now, the only reason I added this in, because it is so simple, that it probably shouldn't even be in the DIY. <laughs> but the only reason I added this in is because I wanted to show y'all how easy it is to take something like this, make something so simple, and then boom, you have got a whole vignette. I think I'm saying that correctly. Or a whole scene or set that, to decorate an entire room with, pretty much. All right, so I just took my Pyre Grab by Loctite, took this candlestick that I got from the Goodwill for 99 cents, added me some hot glue, and I just stick that sucker in the middle. Of course, I don't get it in the middle. Duh. I always have to mess something up. And I've got to scoot and twist and turn till I get it directly in the middle. No big deal, though. No big deal. All right, so we got her in the middle. Now, these two plates I got from the Dollar Tree, and they were already, like, distressed like this. They lo already looked like the old barn wood, so I didn't have to do anything to them. The candlestick was already a dark, like, blackish brown color. Didn't have to do anything to it. I just left it like it was. I'm just going to pop that other uh, plate on top. Just like so. Hold it down real good. Let everything dry. Y'all, this is how easy it is. And for $3, $3, I just made my centerpiece. And boom, there you go. Throw some little stuff around on it. Add some extra little stuff that you've just got laying around the house. So stinking cute. So cute. I love this. Most of that I already had just sitting around, too. All right, and here's the entire set. I hope you guys enjoy. This video was so much fun to make. All of these DIYs were so simple and so super affordable. So much fun. They were really just a lot of fun to make. I love how they all turned out. I love how it came together at the end. I really hope you guys liked all this. And just one last look at a few of them. That was so easy to make, I'm telling you. That right there is the eye catcher. Love the signs. And it just all comes together. All right, y'all. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope that you'll check out the playlist that I've got linked. I hope you'll subscribe if you're already not. And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you.